Hey, what's up everybody? Jake Andrews here, Blues Rock Guitar Lessons. I want to do a quick lesson tutorial for you guys. I've gotten a lot of requests for this song recently. It's a John Mayer song off of the Continuum album, 2005. Really cool song, a really chilled, groovy rhythm on this. So it's got some really cool changes, but it's not too difficult and it's a fun one to play. The rhythm part is very simple. The main section is just three chords. And I'm getting a, uh, a thicker, fatter tone by rolling my, uh, well, rolling my tone knob way down. And I'm also playing through a Qtron, which is kind of what he uses to get that sound, okay? It's kind of similar to an auto wah. But anyways, this song is in the key of A minor, okay? So, and these three chords, I'm gonna show you how I'm playing it and then a variation the way he's doing it. I'm playing here an A minor 11, okay? So here's our normal A minor, or a half shape, okay? But I'm playing this A minor 11, a really cool jazz chord and the way I'm playing is putting my middle finger on the low root right here on the fifth string. If you don't know this chord, ring finger is going on the fourth string. Pinky is on the third string. And then my first finger is on the second string, okay? So this is my 11. Or in other words, the four. Okay, so I have the root. Dominant seven, flat third, and 11. Okay, and the way also I'm playing it, I'm finger picking it by getting the bass root note with my thumb, and then I'm getting my first, middle, and third fingers on the fourth, third, and second string and plucking that. So that's really probably the way he's doing it. You could kind of mute these out, especially that fifth string and strum it. You could get away with that as well. But this is how I'm doing it. Okay, my second chord is coming up here to a C major, just this little triad. I'm not even getting the high E string, just the fourth, third, second. But I am reaching over and getting the root note with my thumb and I'm plucking those same strings. Okay? And then finally, the exact same shape I'm taking up here to a high F. Those are the three chords. That's all it is. That's really the majority of the song. Now it's all about the rhythm of it. So he's going. So check this out. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That's the timing of it. Now I'm adding, there's some rhythmic stuff going on. So he's kind of also, well, you can hear the bass doing kind of a slap there, but I'm going. So I'm getting that first initial root note by itself. And then I'm going. Okay, so I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And that I think sounds really cool. It also buys you a split second to get back to this shape. Okay. 
Now, that's the way I play a minor 11. However, I've watched uh, John Mayer, and he is getting this bass note with his thumb, and then he's playing this more like a, like a sus chord. Okay, so he's going. So he's keeping more of kind of coming from this F shape, okay, but the root is up here on top. So whichever position or fingering of that chord you prefer, they both sound great. Those minor 11s are very cool chords. He uses those a lot. So that is the entire rhythm section for the main part of the song. And it just repeats, okay? Now there's a few places where it breaks. Okay, where there's some breaks. That's really it. Now, the only other section is the B section, which he alternates, goes back and forth uh, two or three times of the song, maybe just two times. And once again, I've seen the way he's playing this, but uh, the way I was doing it to kind of, especially since I'm playing by myself, get all the, all the notes in here, I'm playing off of a D minor seven here. And I'm picking those four strings, I'm plucking them. Any of this, you could get away with strumming as well, as long as you mute out some of the strings. Okay, so I'm playing this D minor seven, but I'm getting this movement here on my middle finger. And I'm going. Okay. Okay, if you wanna just. Okay, twice like that. Then I'm taking it back uh, to this F shape here with my root on top. which is kind of going back into that minor 11, but I'm, I'm alternating the, okay, I'm off of my middle to my pinky, then I'm going, okay. And then I'm doing the same thing, but I'm moving the root back to G. Four times. And that's really it, I'm going. one cuts short there and then we come up into an E minor 7 here so I'm arpeggiating that and then I'm taking it straight into an F major 7 right here if you like you could get the open F major 7 And that's the B section. Break, and then we're back to A section. Okay, now as far as the lead, the main riff up front, and some of the other lead stuff he's doing, we're really just in A minor pentatonic, okay? First position. Fifth position here on the back side. Going into the second box. Okay, and uh, that main riff is really right here in the box, okay? so. First lick, we're sliding in on right there in the box, okay? Slide in on the fifth string from five to seven. Give that slight bend here, okay? 
jump down here either with your ring or pinky. I'm using my ring finger and we're gonna pick this and then we're gonna slide back on this blue note on the G string. So. Okay, so we're gonna turn around and bend that so it sounds like. Now the cool thing he does, he bends that without re-picking it here, which is, sounds cool. All right, that's the number one riff. Uh, now we're gonna answer that. Kind of slide back into that root note. So it's almost the same, but we stay up here. So. All right. Now go back to the first lick again. By the way, that's kind of a slow bend there, okay? Finally, the fourth lick, we answer with this. Okay, so I'm getting some more uh, pure natural minor notes here, and I'm going. So I'm, I'm collapsing from the fifth to fourth string to the root. And then I'm reaching back here and getting the nine. See, this is right in our minor scale. So, we're gonna pick that, and then I'm gonna hammer on and pull off here, same position. Okay, now we're gonna kinda walk it back on the low notes. Okay, and then I'm gonna kinda back up and re-slide in on the fifth string. Okay. Or. All right, that's the intro, and he comes back to it throughout the song as well. Of course, you saw when I played it live, I did some variations on it. Really, guys, as long as you stick to a minor, A minor pentatonic for this song, it's going to sound awesome. All right. So let's do this together, the whole thing. One, two, three. Uh. So I'm not going to show you the solo note for note, but I am going to show you how, like I said, as long as we're playing minor pentatonic, you know, first box. Now, he's just putting that kind of funk, funky groove into it, and he's not playing real over the top. He's just getting the nice, just his feel on this, his phrasing is really cool, okay? And he is utilizing a lot of these lower notes here. In the fifth box. Utilizing a lot of the slides. Okay, finally he brings it into the higher registry. Okay, and he's he's really gonna get into some, kind of some Albert King lick. Jump up here in the third box. It's all 
about your feel, your phrasing. See, I'm getting some double stops, some minor stuff. It's all about that funky groove. Da 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 da. da. And then I can take it all the way up to my first bar. Fourth box, third, second, back to first, and take it back to the fifth. All right, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with that quick lesson, and I'll see you around. Please like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you can get an email notification from me when I put out a new video. Leave me some comments and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.